Guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you the most important things that you have to bear in mind in case if you want to create a model or a DFM file. I've gotten a whole lot of questions from different people from different countries on how to create model and if I create model for people. For those of you that don't know what model is, model is a DFM file, a replica of someone's face. Model, if, if, if you have ever installed DFace on your system, DFace comes with pre-installed model, which is mostly celebrities from mostly foreign countries, okay? Like from US and so on. Now, this comes with the DFace um, software, but you can also create your own model, which is DFM file. And in this video, I'm already creating a model, which um, I think I'll make a separate video about that. But maybe in this video, I don't know, maybe I will, at the end of this video, if it's not too long, I will play the model video and show you the output after I've created the model. The model is still on the process, but I've created the first DFM file to check it out. And um, if it's not okay, I make sure I continue. The very first thing that the most important thing in model creation is the video. Model is being created from someone's video, not from image. Some people will tell me, can I send you the image, yeah, images, different kind of images that I use? To... No, no. Model is being created from someone's video. Video of someone where he's online, maybe talking to his followers, or he's been on interview and people are asking him questions and all that. Now, that video is the main material. The model is going to be coming out from that video. So let me share with you guys some things you have to bear in mind in case if you want to create model on your own or in case if you want somebody to create model for you. The kind of video you should be able to make available. One, the video must be very clear. Okay. The video must not be blur blurry. It must be very clear. The, the person's face must be very clear and sharp. Whether it's in HD, whether it's in UHD, whether in 4K, it doesn't matter. It has to be very clear. The Whoever is creating a model for you will know how to upscale the video, maybe create it in 4K and all that, so that the video pixel will come out well. Now, any video you're sending to the person or any video that you want to use to create a model, the facial expression is the most important thing in that video. Most times, it's not even the quality of the video. The quality of the video has to be very good, but the facial expression has to be very, very good. Like as I'm talking to you now, my facial expression, this kind of video that I'm making now, the facial expression will not be that good for a model because all this while I started this video and I've been talking to you guys, I have just been facing this phone, the camera. All right? But when it comes to model creation, you're trying to create the person's whole face, whether it's a man, whether it's a woman. You're trying to create his whole face. The hair is not included. It's the whole face. Any video that you want to use to create that model or any video you want to send to the person that will create that model for you, there must be facial expression. What do I mean by facial expression? The person must not just face camera all through the time he or she is talking in that video. Now, the video must be up to 10 minutes, between 10 and 15 minutes. If it's more than that, fine and good. But anything less than 10 minutes, that means the person's facial expression will be very, very good. What do I mean by facial expression? When the person is talking to the camera, once in a while, he will turn left and once in a while, he will turn right and you can be able to see the side view of that person from the left side or on the right side. Okay, that is very, very important. Even if the person does not make the left and the right side, even if it's only left, 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 that the, that the person is looking all through in that video, it's still very okay. But bear in mind that while creating your model, you can use this left side of face and form this right side of face. But why is not always good for you to use the left side of face to form the right side of face? If eventually the person has a bet mark, like a black spot or something, or a scar or whatever thing, maybe all these people, they, you know, on, on one side of his face. If that is the side the camera is always watching, 
and maybe you we want to use that side to form this side while you're creating that model. Bear in mind that this side is going to carry the scar and this side is going to carry the scar. That is why it's always good for the person to have le right and left side facial expression. If he looks up fine, if he looks down, that is awesome. Different kind of movements, all right? I will play a video for you guys so that you guys can see. Now guys, this is a um, couple of clips that um, I got online. And I decided to use it to create model. And if you play any of this video, you will notice that some of this video has facial expression. What I did is I got so many videos and I had to cut out some places that has facial expression, join it together with some good places and removed all the places that his hands covered his face. Maybe he was trying to say something and, you know, use his hands to, you know, cross his face. All those sides, you need to delete all those sides, okay? Now, this is one of the videos. Um, I think, uh, let me open it with, open with VLC. So you guys can see what I mean by facial expression, okay? You can see here. Um, okay, all these places that the cap entered, I had, to, I had to remove. You would definitely have to remove it, okay? So if you play this video, you watch that he was trying to, Sometimes he would go, okay, you can see here now, he's looking by his left hand side, which is a good facial expression. Sometimes he will look at his right side. So what I did, I collected different videos. You guys can see here, he's putting on a black t-shirt with um, a skull design on it. Now, this is a different video also. Although I didn't use this video because he was wearing a cap. You can't create model from a video where he's wearing a cap or where the person is wearing eyeglass. The person's face has to be open, no eyeglass, no face cap, no hat, no nothing. Okay. This is another video also. Right. So this is another video. But I didn't use this one. This is another one I used. Okay. And this is another one. I didn't use this one anyway because he was wearing a face cap. So, if you want to create or get a video to create a model, make sure that it has different facial expression. And also make sure that once in that video, his mouth was closed. Like, because if his mouth is all true open throughout, all the video that you want to use to create the model. If you finish creating that model, you notice that once you're wearing that face model, okay, face mask model, you notice that even if you close your mouth in real life, the model will not be able to close its mouth because there's no facial expression that showed where he closed his mouth. So after talking and blah, blah, and laughing and turning his left, his head left and right, up and down, and you know, make sure that once in a while, maybe a few seconds in all that video, you know, if you put all the videos together, maybe at least 30 seconds to one minute, there was a time his mouth was closed. His teeth or her teeth was not showing. That is very, very important. I just want to share this so you guys will know in case if you want to get a video that you would like to use to create a model. All right now you must not be in one video you can get one video where he's talking directly to the camera you can get another video of him maybe two three minutes and maybe you get like seven eight different videos one minute two minutes you know then whoever that is creating the model for you will make up all the videos and make it one video and edit it so that the color can be able to balance bear that in mind that is very very important because it's not every video that you bring to me for me to create model for you or DFM file that I will accept because one is creating a DFM file takes a whole lot of time and it's not every system that can be able to create um, DFM file, which is model. Depending on your system, creating a model, depending on the software that you're using to create model, sometimes some people spend up to three weeks, four weeks, creating just one model.
and that is why it's expensive. Now, if you have a higher system, okay, like the system I'm using to, I just got a new desktop um, called i9 128 gigram um, 4090, that's a desktop, NVIDIA RTX 4090, 24 gig dedicated. All right? That is an explosive system. This system can take any kind of task, and that is actually why I bought it specifically for this kind of jobs. All right? This system does not always come up anytime. It only comes up when I want to run some high graphics task okay high graphics application that i know that can weigh so many more laptops down you can use your laptop to create model once you have up to 8 gig with up to like let's say 64 gig ram if you have 32 gig ram that's fair enough you can also do that but it's going to take a longer time and the process of creating model is very very long i wish i can be able to make a video on how to create model but the is is really is is not if i want to make that video that video might get to up to like 10 hours because i have to follow all the process so that you guys will understand it but it's a very long thing is is it's really a very complicated thing to do depending on the system that you're using all right now if you know how to pre-train use pre-train model to create model it becomes shorter and faster for you so you guys should bear that in mind. I just want to share this. The video that you want to use to create that model must be sharp or grow up to 10 to 15 minutes or higher. Then the person that is talking in that video must be able to look left and right, up and down, and laugh, see his teeth, and every other thing. All right? So this is the model that I'm creating now. I just want to share, show you guys. As you guys can see, um, this is the man and his face is forming. You guys can see this last line, his face is now forming. And if you look down here, you will see that the model is gradually getting better. Iteration is, you guys can see that iteration is at 237,000 something. All right. But already, have already used a pre-trained um, model that is up to 20 million iterations to create his face set first before getting to this level. So it makes the workflow faster and um, better. Um, let me go over and show you guys the first model that I I exported to see how is forming i just want to show you guys now because i'm creating model i cannot be able to open um the deep face because that's another high graphic system so i have to allow it so that it's not going to interrupt but um once i am done creating this model i'm going to show you guys the first dfm file that i exported with this guy's face so you guys can see the output dfm file that i've created i've not finished working on this particular dfm file this is the one I just created to test it. Okay, I'm still training the DFM file. It's going to get better and better after this. So you guys can see, shine your eyes. All right. So let's go and play this guy's video. Let's see, compare with the face. This is the guy's video. This is the first video. You guys can see his face. This guy has small beer beer. And that is why the, 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 the mask is also showing bears. Okay. Here yeah, I can see his small beer bear. I don't have beer in my video. So my own is skin. So the beer bear you're seeing on the, the face is from his face mask. So this is the second video. Just want you guys to compare the face. You guys can see his face. And this is, you can see the bear bear. You can see the bear bear. His, his own bear bear, not my own. So guys, I'm still working on this um, DFM file. And um, in the next two, three days, it's going to be ready because I'm almost there. So that is it.
And while you're creating model, please make sure you have all your files organized in one folder. That is very, very important, please. So that once you're done creating your model, you can be able to save that folder or delete that folder and know that everything about this model is in this folder so that you won't find it difficult to locate any file that you want to locate concerning the model creation, All right? Model creation is a lot of things. You need to sort the images, okay? You need to sort the images and make sure even before you create the 4K video that you used to um, create the model, you have to remove everywhere that his hand um, passed his face or he did something like this or, you know, or did something like this. You must have to remove all these sections from the video before you start using it to create model. And after extracting the images from the video, you definitely have to go through all the images one by one and make sure that no one, no one is bad or you understand me, you have to delete everything that is bad in that section. Please, anybody that is creating model for you that will not get you up to 10 million iterations, that model is not going to be very good, please. If I want to create model for you, I must get to 14 million iterations. 14 million iterations, that is certain. Because at 14 million iterations, you're good to go. The model must be must look very good. Once the source material, which is the video, is perfect, is, is very good. All right? But I just want to share with you guys, okay, that once you create model, what you have to um, put in mind while creating model, material, just one material, the video. Okay, and whoever is creating model for you, make sure the person gets up to like 10 million iterations, which takes a lot of time because if you're even if you're using a very fast system, it is dedicated for you to get to 100,000 iterations takes almost one full day. So getting to 1 million iterations, you should be targeting about 10 days. If you're creating it normally, if you're not using a um, pre-trained model. So this is why model creation is expensive because some people will collect money from you. They will not get to even up to 500,000 iterations. They will give you that work like that. And the output will not look good. Great. You know, maybe you wear it. It will not cover your face very well. It will just be blinking in front of your, your, your face. So bear that in mind. In my next video, I'm going to compare, I'm going to compare difference and then uh, RubeCam. For those of you that want RubeCam, RubeCam is another, um, awesome software that in case if you don't have money to create a model, which is model, different file is, is the best when it comes to all these fish outs, you know, when it comes to looking real, DFM file remains the best. But if you don't have money to create a DFM file, RoopCam is another alternative that plays better than DFS when, um, in, when it comes to video, um, softwares, okay? Live video softwares that you can use to go live on different platforms, all right? So I'm going to compare Rubcam and Deface when it comes to image, and I would like to hear your thoughts in my next video, all right? Rubcam is also good, but depending on, it's an open source software, but it depends on how the programmer wrote his own, you know, Rubcam, because my own, I wrote it and um, did some, you know, some major changes, not some changes, major changes on the application so that it will look sharp, and um, it will form well. Then don't worry, I will, I will make the video about that in my next video. And I would like you guys to tell me what you feel about Rubcam, right? So just want to share this with you so that you guys will know what you should make available in case if you want to create a model or in case if you want somebody to create a model for you. Now, if you're watching my video for the first time, my name is Asuka Kinsley, and on this channel, I give you tips and solutions on how to make money online, all the relevant things that helps in a daily online space, but during the weekend, I make sure I give you updates on new games on our, in the virtual reality space. So if you wouldn't want to miss any of my video, make sure you hit the subscription button and make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first to know once I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next video. You guys should stay creative and remain blessed.